everyone, I hope you are having a great day. Today I would like to take you through the second project I have decided to make in a very very short uh, period of time. This is a birthday card for a man. And for this card I decided to use an A4 Miri card which I purchased uh, in bulk for I think there were 100 pages for under 10 pounds from Create and Craft. And that uh, foam page which I purchased it in a pack and I paid only one pound at Poundland. So, of course, I had to score my cards. I want to create this kind of aspect to be put on a mantelpiece. And I decided to put all my elements on this silver card, which I'm going to reinforce it because it was made using a Team Holds stencil and a die cutting machine. And as you know, um, they tend to become very, very thin once you apply a stencil on this card. So the design is very, very beautiful, but most of it is going to be covered with all these elements I purchased during this last trip in the States, during the previous trip in the States and Canada, and last year in uh, another trip in that part of the world. And you can check my videos here, what beautiful items you can fi find at Dollarama, Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Stone, so on, where items start from one dollar onwards. So for this, I decided to cover these elements, some of them purchased even at Walmart. And so, <coughs> pardon me, they are made of plastic, some of them are metal. The keys uh, from the set you saw there, I purchased them in the UK, again in a set of, I think there were 100 keys. I think I paid some five, six pounds, so very good value if you are to buy in bulk like that. So in order to be painted beautifully, I have to cover uh, them in uh, uh, gesso. So I don't cut them, cover them completely as you can see there, just partially. And what you can see here is a method I keep using in order to raise the elements on my car. So either I'm using a cardboard like this or sometimes I'm using even plastic cup bottles to raise my uh, elements. And this clock uh, stylized clock you saw there, also of uh, Miri card. Uh, it was uh, cut using a uh, stencil and a die cutting machine. The stencil I purchased it for like one pound and something when I purchased some 20 or 30 stencils from China. So I tend to place big orders once per year. So I'm covered for my design or maybe once every two or three years. So here I'm using the uh, Art Alchemy uh, da sorry, uh, colors, which they are very, very beautiful. But I think as I'm mentioned in the previous project, I think they are over glorified on uh, YouTube and other uh, social media uh, promotions, purely because they are very expensive in the UK. Uh, in the state where I purchased them from came in part of a very good offer at Michael's, but if you are to purchase them in the UK, they are very, very expensive. And for this reason, I tend to buy uh, other paints, which are equally beautiful and good quality. This is something else I purchased in Canada. Is a fabric, is a, like a Halloween fabric, and why I'm using this on top of the Tim Holtz stenciled page, because the elements will not be adding, uh, will not be uh, sticking beautifully to the Miri card as opposed how do they stick to the fabric. So even if that fabric is no, is so loose, um, is a good method to uh, uh, stick uh, my elements to the card. So of course uh, these flowers um, uh, you see here, um, they were um, just put together by me, but they were not made uh, from scratch. Uh, you can see only these three big flowers. The two on the top were, um, the one on the left is a fabric. And again, it was uh, painted in gesso and afterwards uh, in colors. Uh, and the one on the right is a mulberry paper flower. 
So now I'm using all these elements, which I purchased them in bulk again. And I always uh, like mixing uh, elements I make myself with elements I uh, purchase. And later on, I'll be adding beads and those sequins you see there on the left hand side, those silver glitter balls, uh, well, silver balls more like. Uh, they are actually uh, sugar balls, which are expired and I couldn't bear to throw them away. So uh, I prefer to use them in my cards rather than throwing them away. And I'm adding now all these elements I know, this male to whom the carton is destined, uh, because he's into repairing stuff, so that is why I'm using so many of this kind of uh, uh, elements. Right, so there you have it, uh, the big heart on the right hand side, uh, reminding uh, him how much we care about him, the butterfly showing uh, a flyaway spirit, the flower showing the beauty of the world and all those elements and uh, everything married together with the beads uh, are going, to, which are going to be attached uh, later on. Inside the card is going to have another uh, page, A4 page, which is going to be be uh, designed uh, itself too because um, I uh, like or working on every single aspect of my project so you're going to see that uh, uh, later on and uh, as I don't like throwing away anything I put even this little element which I cut from by mistake from the foam page which is glitterish as you can see it and is great value for money if you are to purchase it in a pound level one pound for I think like 10 sheets which is just perfect lots of elements are going to be added later on so you are going to see everything um, in the uh, last uh, moments and of course I have to add lots of cosmic shimmer glitter paste which I like so much because of its amazing uh, quality and my sequins and beads of course are going to be fixed on the card using the multi-medium matte uh, using a brush because if you are to use a brush um, you can uh, do this uh, safely without destroying your brush if you are to use the glue you have to use more like uh, your fingers because the glue is going to destroy the brush and there you have it i hope this person is going to like his birthday card and uh, thank you for watching this. I hope it inspired you too in creating similar types of cards. Um, I really like the beautiful Miri card, which you can see there shining beautifully. And everything is in these nuances of blue and with uh, brownish touches to calm it down and make it more acceptable to a mature man. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.